Hi, I'm Gina, and I'm a career coach with Ama La Vida. So um, I think maybe the, the first thing that I want people to know about me is that I am kind of an old school nerd in a way. I love reading. Um, I tell people that my love language is recommending books. Um, so if you're ever looking for a book, I'm a great person to talk to. Um, I Let's see, I, I spend my free time learning languages. Right now I'm brushing up on my French so I can go to Quebec for a while this summer. And um, yeah, I have two kids and they're also equally nerdy. We're all <laughs> learning French together, actually. And um, maybe the last thing is that um, I'm an exercise instructor. So I'm certified to teach spinning and Zumba. And so um, I kind of do it on and off whenever I feel like it, but it's really fun. I started doing it because it was really the only way that I could get myself to an exercise class. So I came to coaching about five years ago and um, I, I came straight from almost like two decades of higher education. Um, I went through grad school, I got a PhD, I got a position as a professor, I, I even got tenure. And it took that long for me to really kind of figure out that being a professor wasn't for me. It just, it wasn't the right position. I wasn't doing the things that I loved. And I will even admit, I, I don't know that I was even that great at it at a certain point. <laughs> and I was also really unhappy and burned out. And so um, I just, I just left. And what happened next was like a lot of soul searching, um, career discovery. I think I took every single quiz and inventory there is. <laughs> so, um, and, and all the time I was working and trying out different positions, but I kind of realized that it was the process itself. It was really kind of that experience of learning about myself that resonated with me because um, I think that, you know, as a, I'm, I'm a woman of color and I, and I work in Vermont, which is a, um, a, there aren't very many people of color around here. And there are just so many really specific obstacles that I, I encountered over and over, just patterns that I really, I don't want other people to have to deal with. And so that's kind of one of the things that I, I, I really love about coaching is that every mistake that I've ever made and every misstep is like can become a lesson and can help somebody else. I think that my favorite thing about coaching actually is helping people recognize how strong and valuable they really are. Because we, you know, I think that probably a lot of people come to coaching conversations never having had a conversation about work or about how they feel about work. And so, you know, first of all, that's, that's a really exciting experience of finally feeling heard. But then also, you know, I, I like that experience of, of, of incremental changes that become something much, much bigger. And a lot of those changes are mindset. A lot of those things happen inside and they can end up building a much more confident and more resilient person.